35 states have, have stand your ground laws in place, and Illinois is not one of them. Reporter Monique Davis is working for you to break down the rules Illinois follows when it comes to homeowners protecting themselves and their property. Monique? You don't have to retreat. You can stand your ground. It's encompassed in use of force in defense of pers person and use of force in defense of property. Whether in a home or in public, Sangamon County State's Attorney John Milheiser says the use of deadly force is justified under certain circumstances. Uh, they're in essence the same. So if somebody is using uh, the imminent use of force against you um, and it's likely to cause death, then you can use deadly force in return. Milheiser says those circumstances change when there is no threat of great bodily harm present. Well, let's say they're just sort of punching you and there's you know, no reasonable threat of great bodily harm or death. You can't then, in self-defense, kill somebody. Um, so you have to use reasonable force. Macon County Sheriff Jim Root says if you are attacked in your home, authorities are more understanding when it comes to the use of force. Your home is uh, protected and has some protections, one from Fourth Amendment, from search and seizure from law enforcement, and also it, uh, in the eyes of the courts, it is your, your domicile, it is your place of, of, of a safe haven. Bill Heiser added if a person is not licensed to carry while defending themselves, then they could potentially face charges. We're also uh, in the law, you can't be the initial aggressor, right? So you can't cause this big, uh, big fight and be the aggressor and then all of a sudden claim that you need to defend yourself with deadly force. Thanks, Monique. Millhire says when the law says you don't have to retreat, that means you don't have to run away. You can defend yourself.